if you see the show and you go, oh, it takes place in 1780s France, how can I relate to this? You'll find it's actually very contemporarily written and it's easy to understand. And when I saw it, when I saw the revival, I went to meet people as they came out backstage who were in the show. And one of the women who saw the, the show said something that I thought summed it up so well. She's like, it's everything you could want in a show. It is everything. It is love, it is romance, it is, oh my God, comedic things. It has leveled characters, it has bad characters. It's just such an engaging story. And that's why it's been done so many times. There's like the book, the movie, the play, Cruel Intentions, a movie is based off of it. It has sequels, there's a musical, there's a ballet. It's just such an engaging story that it has to be told so many different ways and to so many different audiences. It really, it's, it's everything you could want in a story. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like people can be intimidated by this play because it's set in the 1700s. But if you take strip that all away, it's it's not uncommon. Um, what's what is the word? Like topics, like, like the what they talk about in the play still happens today, and I think that's why it's so popular because it's it's so it's so relatable to every generation. Every generation has a Becomp. Every generation has a Mertoy. Every generation has a Cecile, a Donsony. Every generation, I think it's, that's why it's so relatable and so likable and why there's so many adaptations of it. And I don't, I don't think it's gonna be, I think people need to just take away that um, expectation that it's gonna be so dated because we're gonna be in the the traditional 1700s dresses and the pinets and the overcoats but I really petticoats and but I just I think if you strip that all away and just listen to what we're saying we're not saying we're not it's not Shakespearean language it's not anything complicated we're very straight to the point very very how we talk every day it's just set in a different time period, but it's the same stories that you hear every day now. Yeah, it is a little risque, I guess you could say. But, uh, you know, I was talking to a friend actually outside of the major who's not familiar with theater at all whatsoever, and I was telling him about the story, and he actually seemed very intrigued, and then I mentioned when it was set and what time period, and his eyes rolled back, and he just became so uninterested all of a sudden, <laughs> which I guess is okay. I mean, period pieces have this stigma to be boring, I guess, which is sad because these are people, these characters are people, and I think the reason it applies today is because these characters couldn't be more human than they are. Um, my character, for instance, uh, she really is just battling temptation the entire play and, and desperately trying to stay in line with her discipline, and as humans, we, we battle our discipline every day, and we have urges and instincts that sometimes aren't supposed to happen, and they happen anyway, and that's okay. And that's what's happening with my character. Mm -hmm.